Now being pregnant, uh, pregnant during a pandemic is uncharted territory and now pregnant women in healthcare are wondering if they should get the vaccine since it is available to them. Today, News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen talked to a local doctor who's recommending that most of her pregnant patients get it. At Vanderbilt, Dr. Jennifer Thompson says risks associated with getting COVID-19 while pregnant are far worse than risks associated with the vaccine. They have increased risk of hospitalization, need for ICU, mechanical ventilation, and a slight increased risk in death compared to non-pregnant patients. As of now, she's recommending the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines for her patients who are pregnant or trying to get pregnant. I actually received my vaccine on Friday, so I'm not concerned at this point about um, the long-term safety data. While pregnant women were excluded from the trials, some women joined not knowing they were pregnant, and those cases are being followed closely. These numbers are really small, but we have not seen significant adverse reactions, both from a pregnancy standpoint or a fetal standpoint. Dr. Thompson says be careful. There's a lot of misinformation out there. There was an article circulating online saying that the vaccine could cause infertility. A local doctor tells me there is no evidence to support that. There's some concern that the spike protein has a similar genetic makeup to one of the proteins in the placenta. However, that similarity is less than 1% and the likelihood of infertility has not been founded from any of the scientific data to date. In addition, the COVID-19 vaccine is believed to be safe for women who are breastfeeding too. What we know about the vaccine, what we don't know about the vaccine, and ultimately in those shared decision-making discussions with patients, deciding what's best for them. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Dr. Thompson's vaccine recommendation for pregnant women is backed by the CDC, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine.